constantly with you. The time has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. We are 48 hours away, two days from WrestleMania 26, this Sunday night, March 28, 2010, from University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. This is my special pregame and prediction special, where I'll be running down the card um, and analyzing all the matches booked for this Sunday night's WrestleMania. Nine are booked so far, but breaking news coming this morning from ProWrestling.com, from someone who was uh, will be attending WrestleMania 26 this Sunday, saying according to the program there will be a tenth match on the card, uh, Divas tag match, possibly ten Diva tag match, but um, we don't have it officially yet. We might find out on SmackDown tonight, but um, the wrestling experts have predictions for the matches that have already been signed, and we'll talk about them. Through the course of the broadcast, you'll also hear my analysis of the uh, of the matches. But first, let's take you back. About three months ago, I did a discussion special doing my own predictions on what the card is going to shape up to look like for WrestleMania 26. This was taped the night after Tables, Ladders, and Chairs when Sheamus walked out as WWE Champion over John Cena in what some people regard as an upset. Um, some people pissed off about the result, surprisingly, um, because WWE, in the midst of a crisis at that time, not pushing the young guys, holding the same guys to these main event spots, eventually the band not having a lot of confidence in the young breed of superstars, um, and thus my predictions, uh, were kind of shaped around the, the theory of getting these younger guys into the main event spots. But nonetheless, um, let's take you back to December and the predictions that I had for the card um, for WrestleMania 26. And the dark match, of course, which will be for the ECW Championship. It will be for the Unified Tag Team Championships and Tag Team... It will be Tag Team Turmoil. Money in the Bank ladder match. Participants, Evan Bourne, former ECW champ, Jack Swagger. Put Kane in this matchup. This would be his third money in the bank. Shelton Benjamin. Yeah, Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> uh, John Morrison. The Miz. And Vladimir Kozlov. Chris Jericho against the returning rated R superstar. The World Heavyweight Championship from SmackDown. It'll be a triple threat match. Why would you need a title in a match like Undertaker and John Cena? It will basically be Marie, Maurice, the Davis champ, versus Michelle, or versus Mickey James, the women's champ, for the Unified Divas Championship. It'll be the game, Triple H and the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, for the WWE Championship. Another triple threat match. Well, at least I got one match right, and, uh, yeah, I'm surprised Dolph Ziggler even made in the card. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> my, my Barge Madness bracket, much better at predicting than WrestleMania. I mean, rather unpredictable this year, at least to me. Um, overall, the card for this year, solid, stacked card, packed card. And right now, let's take a look at the rundown for this year's WrestleMania in Phoenix. Unified Tag Team Champions, Show Miz, Big Show and The Miz, defend their tag straps against John Morrison and R-Truth. One year after Morrison and Miz lose the match to determine inaugural Unified Tag Team Champions, they're on opposite ends in this battle of two bizarre pairings. The implosion of legacy reaches a new chapter at WrestleMania, as Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase Faced off with their former protege, Randy Orton, in a triple threat match. Ted DiBiase is pulling double duty this weekend. He will also be inducting his father, the Million Dollar Man, into the WWE Hall of Fame the night before. Will one of the students defeat the teacher? Or will the Viper strike cold venom in the desert? The straight edge superstar CM Punk goes one-on-one -on -one with the ultimate underdog, Rey Mysterio. 
in a confrontation full of run-ins and cost opportunities from the past several weeks. And should Rey Mysterio lose, he must join the Straight Edge Society. Triple H squares off with Sheamus. The Cerebral Assassin makes his 14th appearance at WrestleMania against the Celtic Warrior who makes his debut at the Showcase of the Immortals after months of domination on ECW and Monday Night Raw. Can Sheamus defeat the man who ended his WWE title reign in the Elimination Chamber? Or will the game keep on playing? Twelve and a half years later, it's no holds barred between two fierce rivals. WWE Hall of Famer Bret the Hitman Hart versus WWE Chairman Vince McMahon. Remember November 9th, 1997 and the infamous Montreal Screwjob at the Survivor Series, initiated by Mr. McMahon, sending Bret Hart to WCW. This is the Hitman's first match in a WWE ring since that incident, and his first match since a career-shortening concussion in 1999 and career-ending stroke in 2002. But the 64-year-old chairman of the board wants to put the final screw job to his old foe in front of the entire Hart family and the whole world. The career, the streak, the sequel. Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. The Heartbreak Kid's illustrious 25-year professional wrestling career faces the Phenom's irreplaceable 17-0 streak in a rematch of one of the all-time emotion-driven battles in WrestleMania history. Victory can only be attained by pinfall or submission. No countouts, no disqualifications, no build-up required. The sixth annual Money in the Bank ladder match, for the first time 10 men are involved, and a roll call of WWE's top mid-card talent. From Raw, Kofi Kingston, Evan Bourne, MVP, Christian, and Jack Swagger. From SmackDown, the Intercontinental Champ, Drew McIntyre, Kane, Matt Hardy, Shelton Benjamin, and Dolph Ziggler. 20 feet above the ring hangs a briefcase, and inside the briefcase is a contract for a guaranteed championship match that can be cashed in any time, any place, within the next 12 months. SmackDown's World Heavyweight Championship match pits former Tag Team Championship partners as Edge, the winner of the 2010 Royal Rumble match, faces Chris Jericho, the nine-time Intercontinental Champion and four-time World Champion. And if WrestleMania history shows, this match could be a stalemate. Since the inception of the World Heavyweight Championship, Edge has lost the last two world title matches at WrestleMania. And for Jericho's chances, since WrestleMania 19, the World Heavyweight Championship has only been successfully defended once. The main event from Raw for the WWE Championship pits the two biggest stars of this generation in a rematch from their SummerSlam 2008 contest. The Animal Batista puts his WWE Championship on the line against John Cena. Both men's rises to the top were marked on the same night, WrestleMania 21 in 2005. This is Batista's fifth WrestleMania and Cena's seventh. Batista interrupted Cena's championship victory after the Elimination Chamber last month and took advantage of opportunity to win the belt only minutes after Cena fought in the sadistic structure. Who will leave Glendale, Arizona, etching their name in stone as the greatest WWE superstar of this present era?